So I've rewatched the first five episodes of Power Book 2 Ghost and I've rewatched the teaser that they gave for episode 6 as well. Not much of a teaser I would say, but in this video I'm breaking down the chess game and the chessboard in a little bit more detail, mainly focusing on Tariq, Monet and Tasha. So welcome back to MovieBot, let's talk about the chess game. Lorenzo's the king. Monet's the queen. Cain is the rook. Jews the knight. Diane is the bishop. So I hope you're all doing great and now that the elections are over I'm thinking that they'll definitely be releasing the teaser for episode 6 either this week or next week because they'll definitely want to create some hype and get everybody talking but these last couple of weeks have been a drag to be honest. October flew by but November is going really slow for me and I'm just counting down the days now till December the 6th but hopefully they do give us something for episode 6 soon because I really want to know more about it especially because Brayden said that it was his favourite episode. But before we talk about the chess game in a little bit more detail, if you're new to my channel then remember to smash the subscribe button as well as giving this video a thumbs up. Now let's talk about the chess game in a little bit more detail and just talk about the teaser that they gave for episode 6 that they gave us a few weeks ago when they panned to this image of the characters. We saw Tariq standing in the position of the king, then we have the two queens Monet and Tasha, then you have McLean vs Cooper Sacks, Lauren vs Diana and Brayden vs Kane. But in today's video I'm going to be just focusing on Monet, Tariq and Tasha and in the coming days I'll be doing ones for uh, videos for McLean and Cooper Sacks, one for Lauren and Diana and one for Brayden and Kane. So watch out for my next couple of videos which will all be about the chess game involving all of the characters. But before I go into Monet and Tariq and Tasha, one thing that you'll notice is Lorenzo isn't in this frame and I made a death predictions video a few weeks ago just giving my death predictions for the last half of the season so I'll link this video down below for those who haven't seen it but I get a lot of questions about Lorenzo. Is he the king and is he somehow going to be released from prison? Now I don't see that happening personally I don't think he's going to be that much of an issue for Tariq in the long term and he's definitely not coming out of prison that's for sure because he's in there for life and he's in for life so how much can he really serve the storyline on Power Book 2 Ghost? So this is why I think Monet will have him killed or Tariq will have him killed to protect Tasha but that's where I stand on Lorenzo. Now let's talk about Monet, Tasha and how their roles on the chessboard will impact the final half of the season because what we saw play out in the last couple of episodes we saw Monet accepting Tariq into the Tahada family after everything he's done and Kane isn't happy about this especially after he was forced to give Tariq his peace and Kane thinks he can do a lot more. He doesn't feel like he's given the credit that he deserves by his mother Monet. Monet has him playing this position and playing a position that she thinks he's good at and in my opinion a position I think is right for someone like Kane. He's all muscle and no brains, he's the killer, he's the bodyguard for the Tahadas. But is this what could make Kane go against Monet? I mean I wouldn't say go directly against her but lose his way and not follow her orders that she's given and kind of try and prove himself that he has what it takes to do what Tariq does. Now let's talk a little bit more about Monet's relationship with Tariq because he was raised by three people in the original Power series. That was Kanan, Ghost and Tommy, mostly Kanan in the way of the streets and Tariq isn't just book smart, he's street smart. He has a killer instinct and he knows how to make money so he really is the son that Monet's always wanted. But let's not forget about how manipulative he is as well and he'll do whatever's best for him and a classic example was when he set the Italians on Tommy and when he set Kanan up as well in the original series of Power. We've seen him make similar sort of manipulative plays when it comes to his competitions at Stansfield when he made him get into a fight with Brayden knowing that Brayden's surname Weston will have the power to get him kicked out of Stansfield. Now Monet knows how smart Tariq is and she knows Tariq's keeping his cards really close to his chest and this is the reason why she sent Drew to get information from Tariq. When he failed to get anything she sent Diana and gave her no boundaries in what she could do to get information from Tariq but again she came back with nothing except Tariq's gun which I'm going to touch on in just a moment. But I feel one of the main reasons why Monet has accepted Tariq into the family is because she can keep a close eye on him and get the information from him that Drew and Diana couldn't get. But one thing I have to say, one thing I have been disappointed with Power Book 2 Ghost is Monet's character because we all thought she would be this feared queen pin that would come on screen and strike fear into everyone and I feel as if they really haven't done that yet and I'm saying this because there's plenty of time for her character to develop and become this feared queen pin especially if Lorenzo is taken out. So let's just keep an eye on this one because I really hope they do give us something bigger with Monet's character in the last half of the season. But let's talk about that gun again because I actually made this video on whether the gun could be one of Tommy's old guns that he used to kill Tony Teresi because it's strikingly similar so I'll link this video down below in the description and in the comment section as well but Tariq will have to realize that this gun is missing and when he does will he know that it was Diana that took it because the last place he had his gun was when he moved it from his bag to his pocket at Tamika's then he went to the party at Stansfield he was alone in the room with Lauren and then Riley and then outside with Diana so he knows that one of these girls must have taken it while he was out cold 
Now the chess game involving Tariq and Monet goes even further with Monet telling Kane to hand Tariq his piece because the gun that Kane gives him has many bodies connected to it. So did she do this actually to protect Kane? Only time will tell but Monet, she seems to be playing the game of chess as well as Tariq and there's going to be a lot of twists and turns to come. Let's see who says checkmate at the end of the season. But let's talk about that gun that Monet has given to Tariq because even though Monet has given Kane's piece to him and accepted him into the Tarda family now, let's rewind it back to a conversation Tariq had with Drew because Drew told him he needs to be careful and he needs to look out for himself and that's coming from a Tahada and we know Drew's head isn't in the game and Drew seems to be looking out for Tariq because Drew knows Tariq has had his back about him being gay even though it was no secret in the Tahada family so Tariq he's already had the warning from Drew that he needs to watch his back. Now Tasha she's still in prison and will she be released in the last half of the season? I personally think she will. Her storyline needs to come to a natural conclusion because they can't drag her storyline out into season 2 so they'll definitely need to either have a rot in prison or have her being released and I think it will be the latter so when she is released will Tommy show up and end her like he should have done when she killed Lakeisha or will she find out who Tariq is working for and help Tariq? I've already spoken about how she's been name dropping Tommy and Courtney Kemp did say that a familiar face would be showing up towards the end of the season especially if someone said that I did something that I didn't do in court but we do need to take what CK said with a pinch of salt because sometimes she does throw us fans off with a curveball but with episode 9 being titled and why it's been a minute could it be Tommy could it be Lars Alonso could it be 2-bit could it actually be the episode where Tasha gets out of prison. There are so many ways they can go with this but with Tasha and Monet, will she be happy that Tariq has been accepted into a new family which is the Tahada family? Of course she won't but will Tasha be able to do anything about it? Not for the time being unless they do get rid of Lorenzo who is the only one who has a real stranglehold on Tasha and Tariq. And something I really want to see is her coming face to face with Monet. I really hope we see this because if Tasha isn't killed off by Tommy, could an alternative storyline be where we see Tasha coming up against Monet because I sure as shit don't see Tasha working for Monet, that's for sure. But I am leaning towards Tasha taking the bullet because Power Book 2 Ghost is all about Tariq's storyline. This is Tariq's show now and if Tasha wasn't in the picture, then we could just focus on him and him becoming the real king. But with all of that being said, let me know what you guys think about the situation between Tariq, Tasha and Monet. How do you think this would play out in the final half of the season because it can go in many ways and I'm sure there's going to be quite a few twists and turns to come, that's for sure. But I think we'll be getting for the teaser for the episode 6 sometime next week hopefully because it's airing on the 6th of December so the teaser should be really round the corner so I'll keep my eyes peeled for the teaser and I'll be back breaking down the situation between Davis McLean and Cooper Sacks and talking about their chess game in a bit more detail next. And if you're new to the channel you haven't done so already, remember to smash the subscribe button. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. If you dislike the video, make sure you hit the dislike button. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.